Hey guys, um, I've had a video request of the care of green tree frogs, or which would go for the same as white tree frogs or any other type of frogs, really. Well, um, frogs are fairly easy to look after. Um, all you need to know really is keep the water levels up, like I say. They can always go for a dip, which they love. With the water you have to use something like this. This surmise, which is a water conditioner, comes in this box here. It's made by Exoterra, except it doesn't have to be exactly the same as this. But um what it does is um what does it say here? Um conditions the water and neutralizes chlorine levels so um yeah it makes them entirely safe for the green tree frogs now in my tank here which has recently been updated I've got a branch there going into the water so they can sit half in the water half out of the water um and they can also sit above the water and, um what happens is this branch here it actually Sorry about that, the battery just ran out there. But um yeah, as I was saying, this um branch here actually absorbs the water that it's sitting in. So um when the frogs go to sit on this branch, um it's quite moist. So um yeah that helps keeping them nice and wet, which they should always be. So I've got my branch there, water here at the front, and then at the back here you just all land for them to sit on as they're doing now up in the corner there. I've got this fern here, big fern, which is stuck into a fake rock. Um, they can also hide under that, except that's not where they are at the moment. And if I take this out, you might just get a better view. Um, I've just got two of these plants here hanging at the back. That's what my tank looks like there. Um, yeah, it's probably good to have a lot of plants hanging down. It makes a frog so safe to come out of hiding and say, sit here on the glass or as I tend to do since I've put these new plants in. Just sit behind there, which is good because, because when it encourages them to come out of hiding, they sit closer to the top here and, um, I catch some of the UV light which is up here and um, yeah, it's essential to have UV light. Um, my UV fluorescent tubes just came in a box like this. Um, also made by Exoterra, or in fact this whole tank and stand is made by Exoterra. Um, this is a 26 watt um, Repti Glow 5.8 UVB light and there's two of those light globes in there and um yeah the tank is heated by this black heat mat here which is stuck on the outside of the glass you can see it there also exoterra um this is probably why they're in the corner there it's staying nice and warm um yeah so as I said frogs are fairly simple to look after um, just feed them once every, I'd say, every day to every second day. Um, you don't, you only have to change the water in here about once a week. Um, it's best to get, this is what I'm probably going to do in the next few days or so, I'm going to put a little air pump in here just so the water's moving around and, um, yeah, it's just not s still water, so... For example, bacteria can't grow in the water. Um, my substrate here is just gravel. Um, I've had a few people tell me that gravel isn't a good substrate to use and whinging about me that it's not healthy for the frogs. But um, that is a lie. I've been to about five reptile shelves around Melbourne and they've all said that this is the only substrate you should use as it's what the green tree frogs have in the wild. 
plus besides you can't get eco earth or anything like that here in Australia and um, if they say people are telling you that the frogs might swallow it and stuff doesn't matter it's just smooth rocks it just goes through them comes out in their poos hasn't harmed them at all they've been fine for a year that have had them they've been healthy and everything um, and yeah as I said it's what their substrate is in the wild just comes in bag like so aquarium gravel and um, that gravel has to be washed before you put it in um, so yeah as I said they're fairly simple creatures to look after just feed them once a day um, I'll just go and grab some crickets to feed them with we'll be back in a second right so I've got my crickets here in this tub here with my name there Josh um, and I've got a bowl here with calcium in it just to sprinkle on the crickets but um, look it's not it's not that necessary to use calcium powder mainly just when they're just newborn babies to help their bones grow but um yeah it's probably better to be safe than sorry which is why I use it but yeah you don't have to use um, calcium powder every single time except if you're interested in all the calcium powder we'll just go find it in oh hang on, I must be out with the water jacket, I'll be back in a second. 